The Kremlin has major problems. Bariats massively refused to fight in Ukraine on the 138th day of the war. When the Blitzkrieg and other lightning operations of the Russian army failed, Russian servicemen began to massively refuse to fight in Ukraine. After the first wave of Russian occupiers in Ukraine saw the achievements of civilization, paved roads and villages, bathrooms and houses, working household appliances and street lighting, many returned home as Cargo 200 or a line in the list of missing persons. Their followers turned out to be somewhat smarter and are already writing reports on the termination of contracts. The first 150 refuseniks have already returned by plane to their homeland, to Bariatia. This was announced by the head of the Free Bariatia Foundation, Alexandra Garmazapova. These are servicemen who broke the contract with the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. It took them a very long time to get home. You recently could see the appeals of military wives from Bariatia, who asked to replace their husbands with other military men and return them from Ukraine, Garmazapova said. She admitted that the wives of the military really very delicately expressed their ultimatum because of Russian censorship. They had to choose expressions, because in Russia you can end up in prison even because of incorrectly placed quotation marks around the word, special operation. In total, we can say that 500 people passed through us from Bariatia who refused to fight in Ukraine, the head of the Free Bariatia Foundation said. By the way, Moscow sends residents of the poorest, subsidized regions to war in Ukraine, luring them to the armed forces of the Russian Federation with promises of large salaries and other benefits inaccessible to ordinary workers in their regions. Bariatia, Dagestan and Chechnya are leaders in the number of soldiers seeking to enter Ukraine and the number of casualties. Earlier there were reports that the military command of the Russian Federation throws Bariats into battle like cannon fodder. In this regard, the soldiers often began to retreat, not wanting to die on the front line. They are also dissatisfied with the behavior of Kadyrov's militants, who position themselves in social networks as brave military men, but in fact sit in the rear and engage in looting. Major losses among the Bariats were recorded during the storming of Severodonetsk, Luhansk region. 